hello there and welcome to this afk journey video so in this afk journey video i'm gonna run through all the six classes magic charms ability and then talk about which one is the better one of the pack and which one is the less better one of the pack okay so i'll be waiting it based on my personal experience and then explaining why each ability is pretty good and maybe not so good and what could be better and let you guys know you know which one is probably the one that you want to focus on if you have a certain direction to go so let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the different abilities as well and which one you think has the most impact on the game or your personal gameplay based on what you experienced so far so with that let us start with the very first one which is a support magic charm ability so the support magic charm ability is one that is really straightforward it basically provides more sustain for your team by healing two weakest allies and there's also a drawback where if allies has been hit by this queue within the last five seconds they'll recover less hp so the second line is there to prevent you stuffing your team with four or five supports and then having all of them with the set bonuses then there's no way you can kill uh, there's no way you can be killed because like every few seconds you know you will just proc this heal on two weakest allies and if you don't have the 20 percent heal drawback then your whole team's not gonna die so that's why they have to include it in general i think this skill is uh it does what it does i think it's just a really good skill to increase sustain a very basic skill it's just a very simple okay i'm going to keep my weakest allies for a life for as long as possible and i think it is probably the middle of the pack ability and uh, right now i'll say if now the support magic charm ability was one that gave buffs that would be a lot better then a lot of the healing support such as Huin as well as damien can also provide more offensive buffs but then again if you do that then smoky will become even better so i don't know whether or not that's a good idea but additional heal i think is pretty decent it does its job it fits into the team of the supports which want to keep your team healthy and then for some support which has a lot of uh i'll say like offensive buff ability <coughs> smoky right like additional heal is just a lot better this means that maybe in the future if your units are strong enough you can just run a single support because one support will be enough to keep your whole team alive as healthy as possible so that's one good thing about this charm then next one i'll say it's probably the best magic charm ability which is the ranger's magic charm so this magic charm is very straightforward increase damage increase attack speed increase crit damage guess what this is probably what will basically push the ranger to the next tier as we scale up with stats for the dream realm and i think comparing this to the warrior one i think this one is more practical in a sense it just focus on ultra offense and i think it's a lot better compared to the warrior one which we will talk about because warrior one increases a little bit of survival while increasing damage at the same time but i think if let's say you want to do like a full out damage comp then you probably need at least one or two archers in your team like you need the ranger support because this set bonus is just insanely powerful and overall i think anything that buffs up attack speed for you to charge up your energy faster or use your ultimate faster is just really crazy as well so in general i think this is the strongest and the best magic charm ability amongst the six in the different classes okay so the next one we'll talk about the tanks one i think i'll say that for the tanks one right i don't know okay it's hard to judge this because if you take a look at the ability it recovers hp and reduce damage taken right when the hp drops below 30 percent for the first time okay so recovers eight seconds right and reduce damage taken i'm not sure whether or not this damage taken is a it's a eight second duration or is it a permanent one and this healing is triggered against after 15 seconds but at a reduced rate recovering only two percent hp per second okay so i think this is good for pushing contents because uh, for the content part what you want to do is okay you you push the content your tank want to take all the damage and then you get this initial burst of heal and damage reduction so that you can force your way through with your back lines doing what they want to do but at the same time i think the triggering at a later timing as well as the reduced rate healing is not very good for this uh, magic charm ability because um what happens if you fight a long drawn out battle what happens if you fight a battle where your hp falls below 30 percent multiple times right so you you want to have this to be as consistent as possible in fact i think they can keep the healing right and reduce 
the damage taken like maybe either keep it like a duration base or they decrease the number but keep it permanent to sort of balance this out i think the decreased rate of healing is really not warranted for and this is the reason why i think this is probably either the fourth or fifth based on my personal take because yes it makes your tank a lot better for the initial burst of tanking for the first like first cycle where the hp is lowered but subsequently the effect is just reduce and the healing is triggered again after 15 seconds so what if your tank doesn't survive beyond that we don't know right so that's one thing which i think is not really good for this magic charm ability although i've seen like i have some success with like this uh pop when my tank like lose all the way until 30 percent and then i get the heal and damage reduction so i managed to push through for my back lines to do what they want to do but then if i were to fight in the supreme arena in a long drawn out battle this is not exactly something that i'll be looking for so this is probably i'll say either the fourth or fifth ability in terms of ranking in my opinion okay so next one uh, this is the this is the assassin's one okay i think the assassin one is interesting in a sense right um assassin one allows you to gain energy on each q or assist and increases damage dealt and gains a shield that absorbs 200 damage for 10 seconds after the first q or assist so i think for the uh, assassin or the rogue class right i would say that this is probably the worst ability in terms of for the class itself um not because it's a bad ability more like i think this ability is way too niche for arena purposes number one this ability makes they basically i think what they want to do is they want to make like specific classes really good in specific game modes and some classes just generally being really good but for the rogue side it's a pure pvp centric thing because in a boss fight you're not going to kill a boss right you're not going to have an assist against a boss there'll be bosses where they are going to summon some minions and then this ability might be helpful there for example i think uh, skyclop summon as well as yeti's ice prison can proc this ability but at the same time right like in your usual pve content pushing i think assassins ain't exactly very good to begin with right in most cases they just dive to their own death so it's not easy to trigger the ability obviously in arena this is crazy good like i think this just elevates the whole class as a whole in arena but in the grand scheme of things number one it's not flexible in terms of game mode number two you have to actually trigger a assist or kill what happens if your enemy has a way to keep their whole team alive for as long as possible then you're not getting this buff so that's why in my honest take this is probably the worst uh, magic charm ability another thing which makes this uh, magic charm ability like not so good is because amongst all the rogue character right if you guys take a look at a rogue character over here there's i'll say like only a few characters that will really benefit from this ability like uh seth uh sylvina vala as well as uh, shakir and maybe barrel right this kind of i want to kill as fast as possible kind of a uh, rogue unit they will benefit more from this but for example for iron's case okay iron's case is actually really really good because iron will appreciate the energy regeneration but at the same time i think iron is uh it's more like a combo setter right although the shoe is also really good for 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 iron as well and iron teams are known to kill stuff really fast so in fact i think iron will probably be the best abuser for this because iron kills stuff really really fast but then like if if you don't kill people what happens right like if you don't kill anything what happens in general i think iron is the best for this because you can use iron in the general content pushing and he will benefit greatly from this ability but other than that the rest of the other units are not gonna benefit from this as much and um there will be cases where this ability is just not applicable right if you don't kill anyone from there so that's something which i think is the worst one so next one are uh, this is the this is the warrior one okay so for the warrior one i i don't know i think between rock and warrior they are fifth and sixth in my honest opinion because uh for warriors one if you take a look at their ability right so it's in a first how many seconds of a battle increases damage there by 20 percent if the hp ratio is above 50 percent or increase 25 life drain if the hp ratio is equal or below 50 percent 
apply to the caster and the summon so this is probably to cater to Florabelle because Florabelle uh, is a caster and a summoner as well so caster is obviously the unit in, uh, unit him or herself and then the summons are basically the minions so this ability might actually make Florabelle a lot better but I think in terms of this ability to the rest of the other warriors it feels very very meh like increase damage dealt by 20% for only 35 seconds what you look at rangers one right so rangers one is increased damage dealt 15 seconds after battle and it's permanent right so this increase it's lower than the 20% right uh, but it's permanent so if it's a long drawn out battle you get to maximize the ability and on top of that you get attack speed and crit damage boost which will steamroll this so yeah i think the goal of that ability was to buff up the warriors more so for non-dream realm contents because in dream realm you want your buff to last as long as possible so i i don't know i think for this one right either they could increase the duration or either that they could make the numbers a little bit bigger right to let the warriors be a lot stronger like i think this is probably the weaker ones together with the rogue one but i think this will still have more use because basically when you're battling you get a buff right but for the rogue one you need to kill somebody to get a buff which might happen or might not happen so that's something which uh you know the battle will turn out differently but for this one it will always be useful to one way or another it's just that i think the effect is not extremely big and if your unit is already below 50 percent, i'm not sure how much this 25 life drain will help to keep the unit healthy I'm, I'm not too sure about that so yeah so far i think this is probably the fifth one the road one is probably the sixth one in terms of the ranking so the warrior one is just could they could definitely give longer duration to to let the warrior be slightly stronger compared to the rangers in terms of the damage dealing compartment okay so the last magical charm ability it's one of the mage class let me go into the mage one okay so for the mage one over here let's go into the mage one so the mage one gains energy after casting an ultimate <laughs> hey there's a drawback there's a drawback where you will be able to only trigger it once every eight seconds but if you go into the legendary and mythic class ability you get increased damage increased execution when you cast an ultimate and you recover a lot of energy so one of the strongest ability right i think this and the ranger one is really insane to be really honest i think the ranger one being more consistent should be the should be the one i'll say is the best one but the mage one is close like it's questionable which one is the best one but i'll say the ranger one is more consistent in my honest opinion but this one is insane as well if you do get the legendary and mythic plus one the damage boost as well as the energy cycling for your ultimate usage could upscale the ranger's normal attack yeah but it's really really practical number one like number one okay basically ultimate spamming is a thing right because of star shot spell ultimate spamming is also a thing because some units have insane ultimates like cassidy imagine her spamming her wave and pushing you back and then uh for example like uh carol's ultimate freezing you in place or whatever powerful ultimate they're gonna introduce in the future to like stun lock you or trap you or just remove you from the battle itself like the ability to just spam your ultimate is really really good so this one on the mage character is really insane and in fact this one on any of the class out there is really insane it's just that i think for the mage class a lot of the mage have really powerful ultimates so this fits into the team of the mage class and it's a very practical and useful skill so this is probably the second or the first depending on how you look at it so my personal ranking for the charms ability let me just do a simple arrangement okay i think number one will definitely be the ranger one number two will be the mage one i think support and the tank one is third or fourth and then for the warrior one warrior one is here and then the last one is obviously the rogue one so rank one rank two rank three rank four rank five and then we have the rogue one for the final round up for the magical charm abilities so yeah that's pretty much it for this video it's just a personal opinion i personally think that uh this one will definitely scale the later we go like i 
I, I, the moment I see like all these lines together is really insane. But I could be wrong, right? Let me know down in the comment section what you think. Thank you very much for tuning in. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more AFK journey videos on the channel. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye, guys.